Hi everyone, my name is Ronnie, I'm a dog trainer and today I'm going to teach you with the help of my dog Bailey how to teach your dog to give a high five. It's gonna look like this. Bailey, high five. Bailey, high five. Good. So what we're gonna do is actually starting from teaching our dog how to give us a hand. Okay, so it's basically going to be putting food. I use hot dogs as treats. It's motivating for the dog. Okay, so I'm putting it in my fist and I'm going to let her smell it. Exactly, good girl. And then I'm going to give her the treat for putting her hand on my hand. And again, on my fist, good girl. So, as much as it's fun to see Bailey actually putting her hand on my fist immediately, most dogs are not used to do it unless they already have a trick for that. If your dog is not putting your hand on your fist, I want you to give him some time. Give him the time to think about it, give him the time to offer other behaviors and only once he's putting his hand on your fist you can treat him by saying good boy or good girl or excellent or whatever other word you want to say to him. Bailey, good girl. Now the reason I'm keeping on saying good girl whenever I'm doing a new trick or while working with my dog is that I want to give her a marker that what she's doing is right. Okay, so when we're talking about a vocal marker, I can decide what the marker is. It can be yes, it can be good, it can be good girl, okay? It can actually be any word that you decide, but it has to sound extremely happy, okay? And whenever the dog is doing something good, you have to use it. After we already know that our dog has this behavior, and we already know that if I put my hand like this, he's going to give me his hand, what I want to do is I want to take it a bit higher so good girl and then I want to make sure that wherever I'm marking my hand I'm going to give to get his hand so good girl eventually I'm going to do it like this good girl and for a few times doing it this and seeing that my dog is reacting the way I want him to react what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell her high five Good girl! High five! Good girl! Bailey! Come here! Sit! High five! Good girl! And after I'm, tr I'm practicing it a few times, it doesn't matter where I'm gonna stand or if I'm gonna sit or whatever I'm gonna do, whenever I'm gonna say high five, she's gonna give it to me. So high five! Good girl! Now, for me, while working on this trick, it was so much fun to work on it and learn it. So Bailey actually sees it as a reinforcement for itself. So I don't even need to treat her after doing it. All I need to do is, high five, good girl. And whenever we're finishing learning a new trick, we're using this as a reinforcement. If you're watching this video, so you're probably a dog owner. And as a dog owner, you're probably aware of the problem that most dogs seem to experience when it comes to fleas and ticks. Now, personally, I don't like using any chemical products upon my dog just as much as I don't like using it on myself. When it comes to chemical products, what happens is that it can actually leave your dog with bald spot and sore skin. And not only that, but your kids can actually play with your dog. And also your dog can't play with other dogs because it's extremely dangerous if they just bite on the chemical uh, collar. When it comes to my dog, I only use Arava products. It's safer for your dog. It's all natural, based on natural oils and minerals from the Dead Sea. Your kid can play with your dog. Your dog can play with other dogs. It's working wonderful for Bailey working wonderful for the dogs that I train. So just go on Amazon, type Aravant, and there you have it.